Hello world, in this video we'll be using SwiftUI to create these card views and put them in a horizontal scrolling view. Create an Xcode project and let's get started. So go ahead and make these new files using Command N on your keyboard and we'll start off with the product row view. Then we'll go ahead and create a product header view. And last for our views will be product detail view. These will be SwiftUI views, so go ahead and use the SwiftUI template to make things a little easier for you. Next, we'll go ahead and create a product a simple Swift file, as all it will be is a struct, and it will be pretty straightforward. Though, since we are using image, we will need to import SwiftUI in this file at the top. And for our mock data, we're using the dot coffee, which is just a string name for an image in our assets folder. So when you create or get your images, you can go ahead and name them in strings, but with Xcode 15, you can use dot syntax to access them, which is really nice. So moving on to our next file, which will be our product detail view. And this is definitely our biggest one yet. It takes a product at the top, and then we have a simple V stack, and we're just accessing our properties like product.image, setting it to resizable, product.name, setting headline, font, modifier, product weight, which will take our pounds, and so forth. At the end, we'll go ahead and add a button so that we can take some sort of add to cart action at a later point when we implement that. The strangest part about this file is probably this line here. We're simply using Swift's string interpolation to put in another text view, and we're putting in the product price, which in our mock data, we just set the dollar value, and we're just assuming everything's 99 cents. I did this for a quick hack to get that UI to look the way it does. Let me know in the comments below if this is too hacky or if you have a better approach. Now, moving on, we have one other problem, and that is our product. So Xcode should be giving us a big Warning, missing argument for parameter product in call. This is a simple fix using the preview, and we'll just go ahead and add the product, and we'll use the first element in our product's mock array. This will also have to be done in the product row view. Next, we'll do the product header view. This one's a simple h stack where we have a label, where we put in the text we want, which is featured, and our system image. We have a spacer, so the elements are pushed both to the leading and trailing edge. And then we have a button. I'm not 100% sure what this does. Looked at the Kroger app for the UI elements here. So I'm assuming it adds to your grocery list. I don't know. Since we won't have any issues with previews here, let's go ahead and move on to product row view. This one's a pretty straightforward view as well. Again, we're taking in product as a parameter. So we'll have to add that data to the preview like we did before. And then we're just gonna pass in a product header view on top and a product detail view with the product passing in as a parameter to that view as well. Here, we'll go ahead and add some padding, a system fill for background color so it stands out from the background. And then we're also gonna add a clip shape, set a width, and then add a little bit of horizontal padding, but not too much. And then we're back at our content view. And this should look the same as we left it, but we'll do a few modifications to get our view where we want it. Go ahead and add a navigation stack, a scroll view to scroll vertically so we can put lots of these views or a lot of other custom views, and then our horizontal scroll view where we put an H stack and then loop through our products array and put in a product for each view. Add shopping app to your navigation title, and there you go. We have a simple Swift UI grocery row. Thanks for watching. Until next time, share and enjoy.